What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So today I am trying to get as cozy as I can next to the tree here. This is like the only super Christmas spot <laughs> in our place right now. But that's alright. Things are getting started. So hopefully you saw the last vlog where I just decorated the tree and then I am going to go in detail. I wanted to mention that on the tree and like show you guys like what my strategy was for how I placed the ornaments this year because I really feel like I did a good job this year like I always like my tree it always kind of comes out better than what I think it will but this year I just was really impressed with how I structured the tree this year so anywho enough on that today's video is about 12 movies that you have to watch this Christmas season I don't know about you guys but I've definitely been binge watching the Hallmark channel and things like that so I have a uh, my notebook here so I'm going to share with you guys 12 movies that excuse me <laughs> just hit an ornament 12 movies that I think you guys have to watch I watch some of these movies every year some are new some are classics to me and if that's something you want to see just keep watching all right so jump Excuse me. All right, so jumping right in, um, uh, starting out, and these are in no particular order, um, just movies that I like, but let's get one off the list right away, and that is the movie that I watched while I was decorating the tree, and that is Jingle Jangle. Oh my god, that movie was so good. So I was gonna say good and beautiful at the same time because it, it was it truly was just it really moved me it really put me in the christmas spirit the forrest whitaker i don't know who played his granddaughter in the movie but their relationship was so sweet i mean my grandfather and i were really really close so just seeing that like it almost brings little tears to my eyes because i value that relationship the relationship with my grandfather so much so that was just to me the most touching to see like their relationship and how she I don't want to give the movie away but how she tried to help I would just say yeah how she tried to help her grandfather that was just so sweet to me and you know the it's, it's a musical and I shared one scene while I was putting the tree together where like the the music I just had to stop and just watch because it was just that good so you guys have to watch it it's definitely going to be one of those movies that I will watch every single year so Jingle Jangle highly highly recommend if you haven't seen it. I'm probably like the last one to watch it but so so good um okay so a few Hallmark movies so ones that kind of stood out to me are uh Christmas Made to Order because what the thing is Hallmark movies all have the same um storyline in the sense that there's like a all well, the plot i would say a similar plot like there's different characters that do different things but there's always like a lead male female role and there's a reason why they can't be together or there's some type of roadblock from them being together and then they have to overcome that and by the end the last three minutes of the movie they'll share they'll share their first kiss or something like that and there's and sometimes too there's a there's a kiss that almost happens and they get interrupted or whatever so it's always the same but I mean I just love that there's a good ending and sometimes you need that especially with 2020 you need a movie with a good ending watch the Hallmark channel you will get that satisfaction every single time so but some movies I feel like the chemistry between the characters the, between the leads are better than others and I really enjoyed the chemistry between I don't know the actor's name but on the um in the Christmas made to order movie she's like a super Christmas extraordinaire she wants to start her own decorating business and there's this business architect who doesn't have time to decorate but his family has to fly in and have Christmas with them because their homes are there's something going on like where he can't fly home for Christmas so Christmas is coming to him and he's like frazzled on what he's gonna do so he ends up hiring the decorator that decorated his uh, building that he, his, his office building that he works in so 
they want to give the whole movie away but i really thought their chemistry was super cute they're a super cute couple um the next hallmark movie is a crown for christmas now this one is one that i've seen before and that i have watched i think at least well this is probably my third year in a row seeing it a crown for christmas is so so cute um dang i should have wrote the actress's name down but she's like in a lot of homework movies and recently i just learned about her that she has like a math degree and she has i'll probably put her name at the bottom screen but you guys should go check her out over on instagram because she's doing a lot um she has a degree in math and she actually wrote a children's book about math and trying to bridge the gap between parents and their children and talking about you know hard subjects like math science things like that so i thought that was super cute um but anyway back to the movie i love that movie it's called a crown for christmas and she becomes this girl's babysitter to a, a babysitter to a royal family and the daughter is kind of a handful <laughs> she's gotten rid of like every nanny that she's had but she really likes this lead character and she you know tried to get her, her dad who's i think is he widowed i want to say he's widowed but um trying to get them to like fall in love with each other so that's a super super cute new movie the next hallmark movie is a very merry mix-up i thought this was a super fun movie and i love the twist so there's a point in the movie where i was like oh they switched the plot up on us so that was a really good movie as well okay so on to a couple classics um well okay we got one classic and then back to homework so the next one on my list is the grinch every year i watch the grinch and um how the grinch stole christmas so always on my list let me get let me let me guys <laughs> you guys should let me know in the comments what christmas movies you guys are watch are watching right now some of your new favorites and what are your classics let me know in the comments okay so back to hallmark this is a brand new one came out this year featuring holly robinson peach she was the lead actress and this one was actually produced by al roper which i thought was pretty interesting i think this might have been i don't know if this is if this is his first christmas movie or not but i was i didn't have no idea like i've been watching this um family show called home and family lifestyle show and when they interview the people at that executive produced these movies i'm like oh they're you know a news reporter or they're so and so or they're a music a musician or something like that like i had no idea that all these people were like behind the scenes in some of these hallmark movies but the movie is called the christmas doctor and it was very very good it did not disappoint so that like premiered a couple weeks ago and i really enjoyed that one um next on my list is a classic for me maybe not to some of you guys but the princess switch i love those cheesy like girly movies and the princess switch switch is one of those there's also princess switch 2 so technically i have more than 12 movies on my list but that's like a series so i just kind of grouped it all into one and then there's a third one but i haven't seen it i think it's called switched again so there's a third one that was just released on netflix so go check that out um my eighth movie is called a christmas prince and i featured that movie that well it's a series also every year in vlogmas so i believe the first one was during my first vlogmas a christmas prince then or maybe i think that was the first one but it may have come out earlier than my vlogmas but i also did um showed a royal wedding and a royal baby so there's three movies in the series and i love each and every one of them like all three are really good and really really cute so check out a christmas prince um okay so this is a new one so i haven't seen this one yet because it hasn't come out yet but i am excited about it and it's called christmas comes twice and it's featuring um tamara maori so one of the twins and it premieres this sunday at i believe seven o'clock central because i saw 8 p.m so i'm assuming that's eastern time so but anyway it's on the hallmark channel this sunday so i'll be watching christmas comes twice so she is playing the role of like a scientist and there's her love interest which whom she hates actually <laughs> for like probably the first half of the movie um is also a scientist and oh gosh 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 shirley ralph plays uh the one of the teachers who tries to put these two together and make them um 
work together in the classroom and teach you know a science class or something like that so Shirley Ralph looks so so good I was like oh my gosh she has not aged but yeah she's in the movie she's in the movie too so a Christmas comes twice this Sunday on the Hallmark Channel at 7 p.m. Central check out those local listings <laughs> okay so another Christmas classic for me is Home Alone I have to watch Home Alone every single year that movie will never ever 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 get old so that is on the list um okay so this one my last two so 11 and 12 i actually had to so i'm cheating <laughs> i couldn't decide because as i was i was like i know there's some other movies that i want to watch so i looked up a list of christmas movies and i totally forgot about this one it's um last holiday with Queen Latifah like I don't think I've watched that in a few years so that one is really really good um I'm probably gonna look that up but I definitely wanted to put down this Christmas with Chris Brown that was a classic when it came out or became a classic for me when it came out so gotta love this Christmas with Chris Brown and then last but not least which one do I want to say first okay Charlie Brown Charlie Brown Christmas is classic, classic. All the Charlie Browns for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, especially because my dad and I always watched Charlie Brown whatever holiday every single year. So I had to put down a Charlie Brown Christmas. So that's like a, like a bonus one. <laughs> and then I'm also really funny, funny, funny comedy is Christmas with the Cranks with Tim Allen. That movie is so funny. Like he's hilarious so that's definitely on my list I was gonna do a list of 24 but since it's um, December 10th <laughs> I figured 12 would be enough to try to fit in between you know a movie a day between now and Christmas Eve Christmas Day so like I said let me know in the comments what movies that you guys are watching this holiday season and I hope you guys enjoyed this list I'll leave it down below so if you want to screenshot it or you know jot it down or something like that um it'll be in the description box for you so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye